What's up everybody, Yasin here from Crux Tech, and uh, welcome to the channel. So this video is going to be talking about the Dell XPS 15 and the XPS 17. And I also posted a video on this a little while earlier, so a lot of my comments there will apply here as well. So I'll leave the link down in the description, so feel free to check that out whenever you have a chance. With that said, let's get started. So the Dell XPS 15 has long been regarded as one of the best Windows 10 laptops and also one of the best laptops to rival the 16-inch MacBook Pro and the 15-inch MacBook Pro before that. So overall Dell has a high bar to keep up with and so the Dell XPS 15 has had the same design for the past few years. They're really looking to step it up a little bit and that's exactly what, we're, what they've done here. We're expecting a major design change. And when I say major, I mean Dell is really making some big changes here. So one is that they've increased the trackpad size, which I'm totally happy with. I'm glad that they did that. Two is that the keyboard appears to be a little bit bigger and a little bit better. The fingerprint reader has been moved to the keyboard instead of a separate power button. Also, we have front facing speakers, which would be really awesome if Dell gets it right because Windows 10 laptops tend to have pretty washed out audio in comparison to the MacBook Pro. Also, we have a significantly different display. What I mean by that is that we have a four-sided infinity edge display that results in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and a more visually appealing design. So Dell is really stepping up its looks here and it's coming to align with the XPS 13 2020 edition. So overall, things are looking pretty, but there's one downside to the XPS 15 and 17, which is the port variety. Ports have been greatly reduced in an effort to make the design thinner. We have two Thunderbolt 3 ports on the XPS 15, along with one USB-C 3.1. We also have an SD card reader, which I'm really glad that they kept. If they went completely MacBook Pro and got rid of every port except for Thunderbolt, that would have been a bit of a downside. We also have obviously our headphone combo jack and on the XPS 17 we have four Thunderbolt 3 ports along with an SD card reader and the combo jack. So ports are a little bit scanty but still better than the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And with that said let's get into the specs a little bit more. So the XPS 15 and 17 are largely going to have the same CPU and GPU variety, but there are a few differences. So one is the processors. The XPS 15 is going to have 10th generation H series processors, beginning with the 10th generation Core i5 10300H and going up to the 10750H, which is a 6 core 12 thread i7 and the i7 10875H, which is an 8 core 16 thread processor and finally the 8 core 16 thread Intel Core i9. The XPS 17 is also going to have the same internals. However, the differences that we're gonna see here are in the GPU. So both of them are gonna be equipable with the GTX 1650 Ti from Nvidia. However, a difference that the XPS 17 has is it is equipable with an RTX 2060. So you'll have real-time ray tracing, and overall better graphics chops. The thing here is that Adele is really targeting those creators who don't necessarily want a super portable laptop, but they just want as much raw power as possible in a pretty package. However, the XPS 17 is still going to be a pretty slim and light laptop. It's going to be about the size of a 15-inch laptop a couple years ago. So with that said, the overall design of the XPS 15 and 17 is shaping up to be really, really gorgeous and it's going to go toe to toe with the 16 inch MacBook Pro. There is one downside to the XPS 15, however, and this is something that I really, really am not, not really happy about. This is the fact that they have decreased the battery capacity in an effort to make the package lighter and slimmer. So the thing here is that the XPS 15 has always been a thin laptop. However, they've really tried to go all out and they've reduced the battery from 97 watt hours to 86 watt hours. 
This is unfortunate because it already has a huge competitor in the 16 inch MacBook Pro and that MacBook Pro has a 99.9 watt hour battery. So if they're really lowering their battery size here, I hope they have some sort of software to better optimize the power usage. They also have their typical 56 watt hour variant of the XPS 15 in a slightly lower spec model that is also available on the XPS 17. By the way, the XPS 17 also has that 97 watt hour battery, which makes sense seeing as it's a bigger laptop. With that said, both have a lot of similarities as far as storage is concerned. The XPS 15 has up to 64 gigs of RAM, same thing with the XPS 17. The XPS 15 also has up to 2 terabytes of SSD, which is you probably won't run out of that anytime soon. The XPS 17, on the other hand, has up to 4 terabytes of NVMe SSD. So neither of them reaches the MacBook Pro 16 inches 8 terabyte threshold. However, both have plenty of storage. With that said, I think that the XPS 15 and 17 are both going to be excellent laptops. We'll have to see a little bit more about them once they are finally released, but they're shaping up to be something really, really worth waiting for. So what do you think about the XPS 15 and the XPS 17? Let me know down in the comments and I'll be really happy to hear about it. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, I do encourage you to subscribe because I am going to be posting more about this series as well as other sorts of tech news. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're alerted whenever I release anything new. Finally, I will catch you later.